Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and this guy here needs no introduction, of course. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger, the greatest bodybuilder of all time. One of the most recognizable faces, and of course physiques, in the history of, well, humanity. When was his best version? Now, of course, we're discussing the Mr. Olympias only, so when was his best? Most people will stand right up from their chair to tell you it was 1974, of course. But 1975 wasn't bad, not bad at all. That was the year of the uh, Pumping Iron. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of the name Pumping Iron. Ridiculous. But, of course, 1974 was very thick and muscular. But there's the 1973, of course, and 72 even. Not bad versions at all. So we're going to do a little bit of a video series, as many videos as we have to do to compare all these and find out and figure out if it is in fact 1974 or perhaps another more conditioned version. Today's comparison will be the 1973 versus, of course, that big old bad 1974. So let's begin the dissection and I will say, going into this, I did realize there's not a whole lot of good comparisons like this one here. Very poor picture quality of 74. But there is this one here, and he's kind of showing his back in 74, so his legs aren't quite flexed, and you can only see half of them. And boy, oh boy, look at those cuts in the legs of 73. But other than that, it is... Quite comparable here. For those of you who thought 74 would clean house, take a look at 73. What a great version of Arnold, which is also displayed here in this comparison. Now, it's pretty hard to use this one. Like I said, it is hard to get direct comparison, which is probably why there's not that many videos on this topic. The legs look much more massive in 74. There's no doubt he is larger. But look at that conditioning of 73 in a direct competition. I don't know. I think 73 might take this one. No, here's a pretty direct comparison. I like this one. 74, on the contrary, looks more conditioned here. The legs even. Much more deep cuts in them and the upper body as well. But I, I think he's receiving the trophy in both cases, so he's not really... Worthy of a flex, but surely in 74, look at him there. He, definitely the winner in this one. So the victor is still up in the air, in my opinion. Now here we go with pose number two, the front double bicep. The most famous front double bicep pose of all time. Wow, I am shocked of 1973, the upper body. Look at those guns, those peaks. Could it be his arms are better in 73? Wow. But when you look at the lag department, there is no doubt in my mind he has a couple of inches of thick, thick, thick raw sausage or perhaps tuna fish meat on those thighs on 74. Wow. Cuts are just as deep too and striated. I don't know. I like those guns, but I do need another comparison and this one, uh, the camera solo in 74, man, look at those legs, just as cut, just as cut. The guns again, look at the peaks on those biceps. The angle is creating a less of a peak in 74, of course, but gosh darn it, my kingdom for an excellent front double bicep comparison. Here's a nice little um, single arm bicep, I guess you could call that a side chest as well. Nice little pose. This one really illustrates how much thicker he was in 74 than in 73. But when you look at the conditioning of this Mayan in 1973, it is superior. Even the waistline, much smaller, more slender. And now, like I said, those bicep peaks, they are swollen and massive in 74. But that's not how you get that swoop, that peak. You, you can't pump them up too much. And perhaps that's what's going on in 74. <sighs> this is a tight matchup, I'm here to tell you. And this bloody old back shot, this rear double bicep, really puts me into an awkward position. 
I realize if I choose any year but 74, you guys are going to be all over me. You'll be like, but Marx, Marx, Muscle, you have gone um, crazy. 74 is good, very good. But man, I have to go with my gut and my heart, and in particular my eye. Look at that back. Muscle separation's better in 73. The arms look better as well. Of course the legs do look bigger and better in 74, but that's not enough to get this shot. I don't know what to do, guys. Here we are, the most muscular. Unfortunately, there's not really any more poses, which is very discouraging, I guess. We will never truly know which version is the best. But gathering all these poses up and comparing them, I do realize that 1973 is every bit as good as 1974. Now, of course, he is more massive, you can see here. Every inch, look at the legs, much thicker, but a little more cut up in 73. Look at the size of his chest in 74. He has that split. Let's bring up another most muscular if we can. And yes, this is really what I would like to, to have to illustrate that split in 1974. He really worked hard on his pecs. The best set of pecs I think Arnold ever had. The legs look pretty darn good there in 73. But I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss with this. Gathering up all these poses is really doing me no favor because it's pretty much an exact tie. So I got nowhere with this comparison. It is worth to mention that this side chest belongs to 1974. And I think without a doubt this is the best side chest Arnold ever snapped. So some may argue and say 74 should be the rightful winner. There are several other versions that we still have to discuss and look over, like 71, 72, and the infamous 75, perhaps the best conditioned Arnold. So we'll jumble these up and we'll get all the comparisons done before this video series is through. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You have no idea how much it helps me. Your support reaches me ever so close to that thousand subscriber mark. That is my wish, my dream, and it will happen someday. I just, you salivate when you can see, you, you can see it in front of you. Anyway, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.